Hello everyone, I'm the Fat Angry Geek. Welcome to part one of Monsters Incorporated Screen Team. We just got done with the prologue, so here's the character selection screen. You can select Sully or Mike. I'm going to go with Sully for this part. Here is the monster orientation, the tutorial level, so be sure to, yeah, I'm sure that you're going to stay for a while, so all right, take it away, Roz. This is Roz here. Welcome to the Monster Orientation. Here you will learn all you need to know to become a top scarer at Monsters Incorporated. We will begin with the basics. Jumping. In front of you are three obstacles. Jump over them using the X button and proceed through the door at the end of the hall. Good luck. You'll need it. Yeah, I don't know anybody who would be able to fail this particular, um, tutorial. Great, you made it. Because I'm sure everyone knows how to jump in video games. So yeah, you press X to jump, of course, but, yeah. Now for the double jump and let's grab. In front of you is a platform that is too high to reach using the normal jump. Get on top of it, press the X button to jump. Then while in midair, press the X button again to perform a double jump. Think you can handle that? I'm sure anyone could. So yeah, double jumps. This next ledge is too high, even for the double jump. Perform the double jump to grab the ledge and pull yourself up. Do you hear anybody in the background? I am sorry I have people here, but yeah. Fantastic. She sounds so sarcastic when she says that. Roz is hilarious, but yeah. This is funny too. Listen to this. Now for attacking. Not that we encourage that at Monsters, Inc. Pressing the square button will allow you to engage the toys, as well as destroy objects such as crates. Try pressing the square button while moving or standing still. Break all of the crates, then enter the next room. Yeah, they don't encourage violence in Monsters Inc. That's that's a good that's a good company. So yeah, ta attacking. You get to hit things in this game, which is pretty awesome. You thought that Capcom was the only company, game company, that made good games based on Disney products? No. Uh, this, these, these, this company that made this game actually did a very good job with it. You're doing so well. To help you through training, we have provided some items for you to collect. This is a bag of calories. If you have taken damage from an enemy, the bag o calories will fill your health meter by one point. Just walk into it to pick it up. This is a bag of calories, of course. If you've taken a hit from anything, you can just take that and um, you can get a health point. You can refill your health. Um, now, I'm going to say this before I go to the next part of the tutorial. This game is actually a prequel to Monsters Incorporated. It takes place after Monsters University and takes place before Monsters Inc. So in a, in the timeline, Monsters Inc. is the last one. So yeah, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? This is an extra try token. Picking it up will give you another try. Walk into it to pick it up, then proceed through the door at the end of the corridor. Extra try tokens are basically like extra lives. And this game is very generous with extra lives, so you don't have to worry about lives too much. So yeah, by the, th by the end of the game I usually have about 30 or 40 lives, so it's not that it matters. Each monster has a unique pound. To perform it, press the X button to jump, then while in midair, press the square button. This move is useful for eliminating pesky toys, but it's also good for breaking steel reinforced crates. Break all five crates. 
rates to proceed to the next part of the orientation. Yeah, I don't know how your stomach is able to destroy steel crates, but again, it's a game, so I'm not going to question logic. This jerk didn't hey, die. You made it. Great, you made it. 60 year old woman that's been smoking all her life. It sounds like it, but I don't think that's true. This is primordial ooze. It is a very important part of your training. Collecting it will increase the power of your fright meter and make your scares more powerful. As you collect more primordial ooze, the level of your fright meter will increase. Collect all ten cans of primordial ooze and proceed to the next room. She will explain that once we collect all of these cans of primordial ooze. And, um, yeah. She will explain everything in the next part of the orientation, so listen here. In front of you is a nerve. Our substitute robot for children here on Scare Island and the most important part of your training. In order to graduate, you will be asked to find and scare nerves throughout the island. To do so, get close to the nerve and press the circle button. Once you are in scare mode, Repeatedly press the circle button to charge up your scare. When you hear the siren and see the flashing light on top of the nerve's head turn yellow, quickly press the X button to perform a finishing scare. Give it a try and proceed to the next room. So yeah, we need primordial ooze to scare robot kids. So yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> <sighs> Scary, but whatever. Great, you made it. So yeah, here's another one. You're doing really well. Collecting primordial ooze is an important part of scaring because it raises the level of your fright meter. As you can see, the fright meter is divided into five sections. Blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. These colors match the colors of the nerves throughout Scare Island. Now this is important. In order to scare a nerve, you must have the matching color of your fright meter full. Am I clear? That means in order to scare the green nerve, you need to fill the green section of your fright meter. Keep in mind that these red cans of primordial ooze are each worth five points. In order to proceed, collect the red cans of primordial ooze to fill the green section of your fright meter to scare the green nerve. Got it? It sounds complicating, but no. You just have to collect three red cans. And you see how, you see on the bottom left corner, there is a fright meter and you need to collect primordial ooze to scare nerves. And, um, yeah, and for how many times you scare them depend on the color, too. For blue, it's one, green is two, and vice versa for the others. You should already put, you can already put two or two together to tell how many times you need to scare the nerves depending on their color. And no, it's not, a, it's not racism, so don't act, don't, don't be a jerk, so... It just sounded weird when I said the color of the nerve, so, yeah. Now pay attention, okay? Each course on Scare Island can be completed with bronze, silver, and gold medal. To obtain the bronze medal, you must scare okay. a total of five nerves. You've already scared two nerves. Yeah. Well, now collect the primordial ooze and okay. scare the remaining three nerves. After you obtain the bronze medal for the orientation, proceed to the next room. I doubt you'll make it, but good luck. Alright, if you didn't hear, or if you have heard, um, her say, we have to collect all the primordial ooze and fill the orange sec- I'll fill it all the way to the orange section of the fright meter and scare the three nerves. Oh my gosh, that- 
That scream right there sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I swear. It sounds like it. But I don't know how blowing up a bag and popping it is scary, but I'm not going to judge because it's, it's weird. It is really weird. That little boy with a big boy. That is that's a weird scare. I don't know how anyone can get scared by that. Kids were somehow very easy to scare back then, apparently. I don't know how that scary either is going around. Alright, so we got the bronze medal. Five nerves gives you the bronze medal. Fantastic. All right, so here is you see all those tokens right there. Oh yeah, you can go in um, first person mode by pressing and holding R2 and L2. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So you see those tokens right there? Roz will explain it for you. To get the silver medal on each course, you must collect ten Monster Zinc tokens. Collect all ten tokens in this room to obtain the silver medal. Then continue on to the next room. So yeah. We have to collect all ten Monsters Inc. tokens to get the silver medal. And depending on the level you're in, they can either be easy or hard to find. You can't ha you can't get all ten tokens in one go. You have to uh you have to unlock certain achievements in the game in order to get those silver tokens so yeah here we got the silver medal yeah amazing amazing thank you Roz even though it sounds like you're being so sarcastic right now so here's the last part of the orientation listen here obtain the gold medal from each course You'll need to scare the remaining three nerves in the area for a total of eight nerves per course. This can get a little tricky. These three nerves are red and require you to have a completely full fright meter. Collect the primordial ooze scattered throughout the room, then scare the remaining three nerves to complete the orientation with a gold medal. Alright, so we have to collect all the primordial ooze first because we can't just go around and scare the nerves because we do not have enough primordial ooze to scare them. These last cans here might fill it all the way up. Nope, it don't. So we just get these three green ones and there we go. You can also you also get extra lives from uh, filling your filling your frat meter full. So yeah, let's start scaring them. That is so weird. But of course, you have to scare them five times since one, two, three, four, five. You should put two and two together to make to see that that's how it works. So, you can probably already tell, um, you can probably already guess where's the last nerve. And I'll tell you, he's right here. Thinks he's being slick by hiding in a crate. And no, it is not here. That, that kid is pretty stupid to think that I'm not gonna fall for that. So, yeah, nerves can hide in things. So here we got the gold medal. We have completed the orientation. Now Roz will congratulate us. Congratulations. We're all really impressed. You've completed the monster orientation. One last thing. Scattered throughout Scare Island, you will find mailboxes. These contain important pieces of information and tips for you. To get the information out of them, just stand in front of one and press the square button. Good luck. Alright, so now we're done with the orientation. I'll leave you with this cutscene and I'll see you guys in part two. Excellent work, gentlemen. Now, in order to hone your skills so that you can become top 
scare producers. We're going to make things a bit more challenging. Oh, well, at least we made it this far. Hey! Your first destination is Urban Field. Not to worry now, just follow that path there, and you'll be fine. Remember, at Monsters Incorporated, we recognize that our strongest asset are you, our employees.